I'm Josh with Skid Pro. Today we're going to take a look at our open front industrial brush cutter. Now this is designed very similar to our current industrial brush cutter with the closed front. So it's got all the same heavy duty features that one has. It starts with the direct drive into the heavy duty bearing housing, down to our nearly 400 pound flywheel with four blades. The industrial brush cutter we've had around for years, it's tried and tested. It's proven to work in field conditions. This one is very similar, yet we just took and we made a open front. We cut a V in each side and we put a heavy duty push bar. We had enough comments of guys wanting that open front to be able to attack big trees and still keep their mower flat on the ground. So that's what we've done here. You can see unlike most brush mowers on the market that only have stiffeners going front to back, we've got the side stiffeners on this rigid deck construction. Three and a half inch square tubing. We got three of those going all the way across the entire length of the mower. We still have our heavy duty supports going from front to back. When you have the ability to take six to eight inch trees, you better protect your guts. We've got a full motor cover that protects the direct drive and that bearing housing. Yet up front, we still have the sight window here, and you can look through, and in that bearing housing, you can take a look and make sure there's gear oil still in that bearing housing. The industrial cutter also comes with the easy access blade change out panel. Simply take out these two bolts and you've got access to all four blades as you spin the flywheel around. The push bar and the open front need to be very structurally sound. We went with half inch construction all the way around. Half inch on all the legs on the push bar. Heavy steel pipe here. We went half inch on all of the steel coming around the V of the open front as well. Here's part of the brute force on this mower. 377 pound flywheel. It's an inch thick. It's got the four blades. Notice here we've got the countersunk holes for all the bolts so it's a nice smooth finish not to catch up on any stump or anything. Here if you look at our skid shoes they run a full three quarter inch down along the length of the wear point on them as well. You can look all the way in where the flywheel attaches to the drive shaft you can see we've got a wire protection kit and what it essentially is is some posts coming up from the bottom and the top that go between where the flywheel and the motor are and that helps prevent any barbed wire from getting wrapped up and uh, causing any trouble there. Of course one of the benefits of the open front cutter is that you have direct contact with the tree on the blade out ahead of the mower deck. Here we've got about five inches that blade sticks out beyond the deck. Here you can see on the sides too in the crotch of the deck how far that blade extends having access to the tree when you're cutting. 